Yeah, um, my name is Mike Peterson. I'm the Chief of Public Affairs for the St. Louis District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Okay. The Corps of Engineers is uh, basically the, the federal engineer for the nation. We work primarily water resources management projects. That includes navigation on the rivers for commerce, uh, flood, dam uh, flood risk management, uh, as well as ecosystem restoration and a slew of other missions. Basically, the history of the Corps of Engineers is every time the nation comes up against a, a major engineering challenge, they turn to the Corps and, and we build the skill set or we have the skill set. So, uh, in this area, we've got a long history as far as, you know, on the river for commerce, moving on the river, and, and uh, flood risk management. St. Louis District, uh, our piece covers about 28,000 square miles of Illinois and Missouri, and we have 300 miles of the Mississippi River that we have uh, responsibility for. What was your reaction to the discussion um, today, and what do you feel um, would be like a sense of a first step towards an um, improvement? Seeing the, the film that the students made and uh, that was, had the cooperation of the different communities is encouraging to me. Uh, as I'm, my profession is as a communicator, so my job, one of the big pieces of my job is communicating risk to the public, having them understand, you know, what does it mean to live behind a levee, what is the status of the levees, and what can they do as a community. And so seeing a community get this involved, seeing students at this age getting engaged with government is extremely encouraging to me. Uh, as I mentioned in the meeting, the more people are active with their government, the better the government can serve them. And so to, to have this kind of relationship for the past four or five years with, uh, with Shawnee High School students and Miss Nash Mayberry, it's been very edifying for me personally, uh, but it's also encouraging from the standpoint of it gives the Corps of Engineers uh, an opportunity to engage and it gives the community a voice. And so if both of us are saying the same thing, we need to find a way forward that helps us tremendously. So I think it's very encouraging to see this film. So, oh, that's good, thank you. But earlier in the discussion, um, I can't remember his name, but he was the Le a part of the um, Levy Commission, mm -hmm. and he said um, he referred to the Corps as the messenger to the government. Oh, like, it's saying don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, so like, what are your intakes about that? Like, is it, like, there is no, like, he, there's nothing that the Corps can really do without the approval of the government, or is it, was he saying, like, you guys are, I, uh, I can I can clarify okay. that definitely. Um, the core the core of engineers, all of our authorities and all of our appropriations, the money to do our job comes from Congress. We can't lobby Congress for any specific mission, any specific project. Ultimately, if we get the authority and we get the appropriations, we can under the policies we have execute, go out and, and work it. One of the policies is a cost sharing policy. As of 1986, flood control or flood risk management projects are cost shared at 65% federal, 35% local share. And so that's a lot of times the hard message that we have to bring people, but flood risk is a shared responsibility. And that's not just picking up the check. Uh, flood risk is, is communicating with people, having them understand what the risk is. Even if their levees are 100% healthy, there's still residual risk, and so people need to understand that. Uh, so that's really kind of when people say, you know, we're the messenger. Well, we're not just the messenger. We've worked in these communities. We have a very long history in these communities. Uh, Matt has been here since before the flood of 93. We've had folks um, who've been here 30, 40 years just in this district. So we have, a, a, we have deep roots here. And so it's important to us that we have this relationship with the community that we can communicate with them and they understand what we're doing. And, and they do. They get it. The students at Shawnee, they, they get flood risk. They understand it.